guys, my name is Luis and I'm here to show you how to make a simple portfolio page using Ink, a Portuguese framework, and MS, a plugin for Sublime Text. Uh, I have created a folder, inside we have an image and we have a blank file, learning HTML, it's a blank file. I will just show you what we'll be using, we'll be using Ink and it's a Portuguese framework, very interesting, you can see it later. I will just go here and I know I'm gonna use this, so I will just copy right now the link to, to the CSS file to use the framework. I'll be using Emmet, of course. Emmet, you can see it later, the docs. This is a very powerful tool for improving your workflow with HTML and CSS and of course we have our blank file so let's head out to sublime text and we'll start by creating the skeleton for our document uh, exclamation mark tab here we go the title will set it to port folio page that looks fine just one more thing we need the link that's why I copied it okay now we have the link so start by creating a container you can use the dot to set the name of the class we'll, we'll use ink grid inside that container we'll have uh, another well, we have a nether, of course, I'm sorry, got confused, we have a, an nether, which we'll, we'll use vertical space as the class, and inside we'll have at the same level, one h1, uh, you can use the brackets to, to set the text directly, so I'll call it my portfolio, not much imagination, and we'll create also a nav uh, and the nav will have the class ink navigation uh, inside the nav we can already create an order list which will set the class later okay we can expand it right now that looks fine i just need to put here the class uh, I didn't put it right away because it contains spaces and Emmet, as far as I know, doesn't accept spaces in the name of the class, so I will set it up manually. It's important to notice that you can use Emmet all across the way. Here we will create an LE, well, we have to use parentheses because we'll need three of those LE with an A inside and this times three. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll just make the cardinal inside the href. That's fine. And the usual options about and contact me. Maybe they have a job for you. Who knows? and my work okay uh, everything seems fine so far and we have our title for the page we have our nav bar uh, so we will need a, a div to set as the banner and we'll call it column group and inside we have another div, this is about the grid, this class names, it's all about the grid, this means she will be, the, the div will occupy all the, all the width of the page, and inside of course we get to place an image, that looks fine, the source, yeah, I've showed to you it's in the folder and it's called just image pretty simple you can use any kind of image so let's let's check how this looks we'll just reload the page 
nothing happens. Of course, I didn't save it. This happens to me all the time. Now it, uh, it shows something. All right. So my portfolio, we have a banner. Okay. Now we need to set up uh, the sample for our work. So we'll create a div which will contain uh, three examples of our work. So if we need three, we will use the parentheses to create a div which will have the class name all 33. It occupies a third of the page. Inside that div will have an h3, a title for each work. And again, we can make project, some name, okay, project. And I'll put the dollar sign so I can create a numeration. Just put some numbers. So we'll see something about it. Uh, right now, uh, we need at the same level, we need an image. An image and a, a P. And this paragraph will have a class name. I was almost forgetting the class name. Quarter top space. And inside watch this now we'll put some random text let's say 30 words 30 words out of what we know the lorem space okay i'm gonna go back i forgot something this is times three okay it's this looks fine so far and let's go to the end of the div and we just need a, a footer of course and I misspell it, a footer with a class that we called, we called clear fix. And inside the footer, we will make a div and we will give it a class name, ink grid. Okay. And inside, of course, another paragraph and this time yeah, we can set up the text right now. Uh, copy, write, I don't know, John Do 2014. This looks great. Okay, this looks great. Let's save it and let's reload the page to see what we get. Okay, my portfolio, the image it's a little bit. Well, I must. I forgot something and of course the image source. Oh, this is always right. Image, okay, we'll use the same image all across the project. And let me just, oh, let's save it and let's reload it again. Okay, this looks, sort of fine but all the images stay close it's not very nice so far let's give it just a little tweak by css directly in the html so that it looks a little bit better so i'll just just have some padding around it around the divs. Oh, you can use, of course, I almost forgot, you can use Emmet to write CSS, no problem. As you can see, I'm using Emmet to write the CSS. And in the footer, we'll give it padding top and make it one again. And let's get the background color and I don't know, some some kind of gray. Uh, let's save it and we'll check how it's right now. It looks a lot better. Uh, I'm just gonna align the footer and I think we are done. Uh, to align the footer, the footer, I can make it right here. Align center 
Well, we could also make it directly in the CSS, just to, to, you, to see the framework. And I think this looks very nice. My portfolio, you have a banner, you have a navbar, you can show up some of your projects. Um, this is it. Well, uh, I hope you have enjoyed. And we'll see. I'll see you next time. Please comment on my video. This was my first screencast. I really hope you, you have enjoyed. Thank you very much.